Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. In order to do that, you have to play right in America. We have laws in America that allow us to be the right person for ourselves and our life. We are not a communist country where an American type of communist government starts to play in our life and basically ruin us. But in that communist country, they have tons of poverty, tons of children that are just thrown away. The throwaway child is sort of like the stay Nako or the throwaway cat, which we captured in a marvelous little playground when my son was about eight or nine. I can't remember exactly in time. Maybe he was closer to ten. But the bottom line is we took that little tailless cat, because Japanese cats don't have tails, home to our house. And wouldn't you know it, that cat would always end up sleeping on my chest. The guy with the most allergies to cats, despite his love of tigers. But that little cat was a little lover. That little kitten just loved our family. And boy, did I suffer after I made my wife get rid of that cat. But that's not the point. The point is she loved that cat. We called her Ai-chan, and I stands for love. Chan is a suffix that you put on a word that means baby of some kind. And it's usually put on to people's names to be cuter, to be more like a nickname. But the reality is it doesn't matter. What matters today is not the story of my past, but what matters today to you is your future. If you have a future, people often want to tag along with you. People often want to sing along with you. People often want to dance along with you. But Oprah is most famous for an incredible quote that says, You don't want the people around you who want to take advantage of your wealth. You want the people around you, and I'll probably misquote it, who are willing to get on the bus with you and ride it. In other words, you want people who are willing to go through thick and thin with you, regardless of what's going on with your finances. But she has been a marvelous friend to her friend Gail, and she has helped to raise her up in a way that's perfect for her soul. But the reality is that's just an example of long-term friendship, and long-term friendship weathers the storm. Long-term friendship is what a man does, but long-term abilities to protect a family from their stupid is something that a man who leads a family does. An idiot brother, an idiot mother, an idiot sister can ruin a family. They can get off track in the laws of America, which is something that I loved about my father. He knew the laws. He loved the Constitution. He gave me a beautiful little pocketbook, which someone stole from me. But the minute that that policeman crossed the state line to abuse me, he created a federal problem. Not only for me, but for him. He lied to himself about his rights to a man, his work, his life, his record his entire being and body today. And openly that's a form of enslavement which we do not tolerate today. The people who play these games trying to harm someone, correct someone, fix someone, are creating slaves to them in their own name. In God's name we come, in God's name we go, in God's name we trust according to the American dollar, but yet we have different types of currencies starting to flow that are sort of investments for people's dollars, but they might not be legitimate, they might not be legal, but who's checking them is usually the American federal government.